welcome back to our third session of Sunday School for this fall. I want to start today by reviewing a couple of things that we've talked about in our first two sessions of Sunday School. So far, we've joined a huge crowd of people by following Jesus up a mountain. We even thought about how we might climb to get to where Jesus was teaching. We thought we could hike, or we could pull on ropes, or we could use a wheelchair. And we thought about going by ourselves or with other people, with our family, with our friends. And we learned that in Jesus' time, people believed that mountains were holy and special places to be with God. Maybe because they reached so high up into the sky. We learned that Jesus was giving a sermon. A sermon was something that happens when we teach about God, right? And that Jesus was talking about God's kingdom when he gave his sermon on that mountain. We talked about the kingdom of the world being set up a little differently than the kingdom of God. We learned that in God's kingdom, it's about abundance. It's about the fact that there is enough, enough of everything that we need to survive, that there's enough love, that there's enough honor, that there's enough food, enough money, and enough power and resources for every child of God to thrive, not just survive. And we learned from Jesus in his sermon that people are blessed, that we are blessed as children of God. Today, we're gonna focus on the very first blessing. Last week, we read all the blessings. And today, we're gonna read the first blessing from Matthew 5, 3. Jesus says, blessed, are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. When you hear the word poor, what do you think of? You might think of not having enough, maybe enough money or food or clothes, enough of something that you don't have to get through your daily life. And that was true when Jesus lived. There were a lot of people who were poor. And guess what? That's true today, too. So many people don't have what they need to get through the day. In this verse, Jesus does say that people are blessed who are poor in spirit. And I think Jesus wants us to remember that both kinds of people are blessed those who are poor, and those who are poor in spirit. Being poor in spirit means that you might not feel so good right now. Maybe you feel sad or angry or anxious. You might be worried that things are never going to get better. And Jesus said that people who feel that way, people who experience every single emotion, even the ones that feel pretty uncomfortable, those people are blessed by God. And that God is trying to remember that especially when we're not happy and we're not joyous, that God is with us, that God blesses us, that God is with us. I want you to practice some of those emotions now. I know you've probably felt them before, so they feel familiar. But what does it look like for you when you feel sad? What's a face that you might make? Hmm. Or a sound that you might make? How about when you're angry? What does that look like? What does it feel like to be angry? What sounds might you make? How about when you're when you're worried, you don't know what's going to happen next. What does that look like or sound like or feel like? How about when you're anxious, when you're, when you're scared and, and you don't know what to do? 
What does that look like or sound like? Jesus reminds us today that when you feel those emotions and when you don't feel like anything is going the way you want, God is with you. God sees you and God loves you in all of your emotions. Blessed are you when you are poor in spirit, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Guess what that promise is at the end? We talked about these blessings always having a promise. The promise here is the kingdom of heaven. And remember what we talked about, the kingdom of heaven is not like our kingdom here. The kingdom of heaven has enough to sustain you. So when you're sad or anxious or worried or angry or scared, there is enough for you. There is enough God for you. God will bring to you enough. All right, now it's time to do some coloring while we take part in some discussion questions. You can go into your packet that you got from Good Shepherd and get out this coloring page that says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Then you can discuss these questions while you color. Number one, have you ever had a time when you wondered if things would get better? Number two, do you know anyone who is feeling poor in spirit right now? How can you encourage them? Number three, where do you see the gap Jesus saw between people who are very rich and others who are very poor? And number four, how is being open to others' experiences and emotions a sign of power? Go ahead and pause the video here and take some time to color and discuss. Then we'll start with our activity. All right, now it's time for our activity. The first thing I want you to do is take out a piece of paper, or you can use the back of your coloring page. Draw four smiley faces that reflect these four emotions. A happy face, a sad face, an angry face, and an afraid face. Go ahead and draw those four faces on your piece of paper. When we do our activity, we're going to look at some situations and I want you to think about which emotion you would feel. You'll point to each of those emotions that you drew on your page to help you understand how you might feel. At the end of the activity, you'll have some time to make up your own situations and think about how you feel. All right, once you've got your faces drawn, let's go ahead and think about how we'd feel with these emotions. Number one, Taylor has a birthday party and most of the class is unable to attend. How would you feel? Point to which face. Number two, Frankie almost scored a goal but the goalie blocked it. How would you feel? Number three, Jaden's friend stole their favorite water bottle from their backpack. How would you feel? Number four, there was an unexpected knock at the door. How would you feel if that happened to you? Number five, Davian watched a show that had a creepy monster in it. How would you feel? Number six, Consuelo's cat is sick. How would you feel if your cat was sick? Number seven, Ryan made a mistake on the test. How would you feel? Number eight, the parents did not know where the children were playing. How would you feel? And the last one is a chance for you to make up your own scenarios. So whoever you're with today, think about some different things that might happen or that have happened to you and think about how you would feel if those things happened. Point to the faces on your sheet. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us all our emotions. Help us remember 
that you are with us in every emotion. Please bless any people who feel poor in spirit. Amen.